Good morning, Duty Team. Paul Roberts speaking. Oh, good morning. Uh, I hope I'm through to the right department. Uh, I wanted to make a referral uh, to Children's Social Services. OK, you're through to the right person. So let me start by taking your name. Yes, it's, it's Emily Jones. Uh, I'm a health visitor for the family. Uh, I'm based at the health centre on the Northfield estate. OK, and who's the referral about? Uh, it's Wasim Akhtar. Um, he's a two-year-old boy. Uh, he lives with his parents, Mabina and Salim Akhtar, uh, at 3 West Park. OK, let me do a quick check on the system. Um, I can't seem to find him. Has he been referred to us before, do you know? Uh, probably not. Um, I, I think the family are fairly, relatively new to the area. OK, then. If you are concerned about him, let's see if we can actually put all his details on the system. His full name, date of birth and address. OK. Now that I have got all that information, I can see... It's just a problem in terms of the spelling of the name. Now, what would you want me to do? Do you want to go ahead and tell me what these concerns are so I can actually document them? Um, well, I, I'm, I'm concerned he's being neglected. Um, he's constantly cooped up in the house uh, with his mother. He, he rarely seems to get out. Uh, and I'm just worried that he's spending a lot of his time in his bedroom without her age-appropriate stimulation. As a result, he seems to have delayed development, uh, particularly his speech. OK. How long have you known the family? And has this always been the case? Well, I, I was allocated to the family when they relocated from the north of England. Uh, yeah, it was shortly after Wasim's birth, and, well, my concern has just steadily grown after the past 18 months. Um, it's just become apparent that Wasim and his mother, they're isolated in the community. It's now having an impact on Wasim's emotional development. And what do you think it is that lies behind this? Do you think it's a confidence issue? Do you think it's something to do with parenting? What, any idea at all? Yes, both, I think. It probably started out as a confidence issue. Um, there are aspects of Mabina's parenting um, that are starting to concern me. There is little sign of positive interaction between her and Wasim. And what do you know of Wasim's father? Does he actually live in the household? Yes, he does. But I've only seen Salim twice uh, in the last 18 months. Apparently, he works long hours and is away from the family a lot. It is difficult to comment on Salim's parenting. Um, I haven't seen him with Wasim. He's the main income er earner for the family and uh, materially, yeah, everything is provided for. OK, I need to get this all down accurately on our records. Are you trying to say that he could be emotionally neglected? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, that's right. I'm also concerned about Mabina's emotional health and I, I think she needs more support. More support than I can offer. I can see from our records that a social worker from the East team was actually allocated to the family following a referral from the midwife. Is that correct? All oh, right, I didn't know that. Mabina was um, suffering from postnatal depression and I think the midwife thought that maybe um, the baby was being left in the bedroom. Perhaps the full information wasn't transferred with Mabina's medical records when they came to the area. I don't seem to have all the details on the system but it does appear as if the case was closed after about eight weeks. It sounds to me the best thing would be for me to actually put you in touch with a social worker who was last working with a family. Her name's Elise Green. It might be better if you uh, approach Mabina and Salim about having a multi-agency meeting to actually look at other agencies um, being involved in looking at what they can actually do to try and um, look at the issues or their concerns. And possibly agree then. After that, who's, who's going to be in a better position to do a full assessment on the family. Um, I've made a note of our discussion on, this, on the system and I suggest that you take the action that we've agreed and discussed. I'll leave the case open or the referral open on the system. Pending further information from Liz as to whether or not this needs to be allocated to a social worker. Is that OK? Yes. Because what I'll do is I'll email Liz to outline the concerns that you've raised. And by the way, do you have Liz Green's contact number? Yes, I've got it. Thanks. Yeah, that's fine. Don't hesitate to ring back if uh, things deteriorate and you don't get an opportunity to uh, put things in place with Liz beforehand. I feel clear about things now. 
Yeah. Thanks for your help, Paul. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.